In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use OBS Studio as a beginner in 2024. OBS Studio is a free open broker software used in recording and live streaming high quality videos. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know in OBS Studio. My name is Ebenezer from OSA Studio. Without wasting much of your time, let's get started. So first of all, we are going to download the OBS Studio. If you want to download it, you just search for OBS Studio on your browser. So immediately you search for obsproject.com, it will bring you to their website. So I've already installed it on my system, so I'm just going to open the OBS Studio. This is how the OBS look like. Let's just go through the overview and what are the things in the OBS Studio. So this is the controls. The controls covers your start button, recording button, virtual camera, studio mode, settings and exit. Next we have the transitions which covers all type of transitions in OBS Studio. Next we have the audio mixer which covers any type of audio coming into OBS and you can regulate your audio through the audio mixer here. If you want to add in logo, text and any other thing, you can add it through the sources panel here. So next we have the scenes which you can create different type of scenes in OBS and if you are using different type of cameras like up to two cameras in OBS from the scenes you can create each scene for each camera in the OBS studio. So I'm just going to turn it into studio mode. The reason why we are turning it into studio mode is that it has two screens which is preview and program. So I'm just going to head over to the settings. Under the general you can change your language, change the theme but I'm just going to leave it like this. So I'm just going to scroll down I'm just going to scroll down and change some things. So what I'm going to edit here under the studio mode, I'm going to click on the transition to scene when double click. So next, we are going to move to the stream. Under the stream, we have provision to stream to one platform. So I'm just going to click on YouTube because I'm using YouTube for the stream. Then next, I'm going to use, I'm going to click on use stream key. Immediately you click on that, you can be able to copy the stream key from YouTube and paste it on the stream key session. So next, I'm going to move to the output session. Under the output session, I'm going to change it to advanced mode. Under the advanced mode, you can be able to separate the bit rate, the recording and live streaming bit rate to be separate. The reason why we are doing that is that if you don't have a strong system, your recording and live streaming bit rate should be different, especially if your network too is not so good. Because if you click, if you leave it on the simple, it will use just one bit rate, and in that one bit rate, any bit rate that, for instance, if your network is not good and you put the bit rate on one thousand, that is how your recording will be and which will reduce the quality. So I'm just going to change it to advanced mode. Then next. Under the stream session, because of my internet, I'm going to just change the bit rate to 1500. So next, I'm going to head over to the profile. Under profile, I'll change it to high. Then under tune, I'll move it to zero latency. And if your system is strong, you can leave it on none. And but for this, I'm going to leave it on zero latency. Then next, we're going to head over to the recording mode. Under the recording mode, we are going to be changing some settings, which is the encoder, bitrate, and other things. I'm just going to change the video encoder to my, my NVIDIA graphics card. If you don't have, if you don't have NVIDIA graphics card, and uh, maybe it's AMD. If you check this session and AMD is not showing there, what you need to do is to just leave it on the X264 x264 but if you have a dedicated graphics card you can use your dedicated graphics card to make the work faster and smoother so i'm just going to change it to my graphics card then next i'm going to change the bit rate to 5000 because i want it to be in a high bit rate and that i want to show you in the recording is the recording format in the recording format 
There are different recording formats. There is MP4, there is MOV, and there is Flash Video. I'm going to be clicking on Flash Video because the benefit with Flash Video is that whenever your PC crash or it automatically shut down and it is on Flash Video, it automatically saves the video and you will not lose that video. But if it's on other formats like MP4 and other formats, immediately your system shut down or you will not save you will just lose that file so i'm going to be leaving it on flash video so next we're going to move to the audio then on the audio the desktop audio i'm going to disable the desktop audio we are going to be using the, the mic audio so i'm just going to select my mic and click on apply so next i'm going to move to the video mode so in this video mode this is where you can be able to change your video resolution both the uh, in resolution and the output resolution so i'm just going to change mine to 720 i'm just going to change it to 1280 by 720p so note that if you are doing this both the output and the base resolution should be on the same number if you are using 1080p make sure that they are both on 1080p but if you are using 720p make sure that they are both on 720p then for the fps i'm going to just leave it on 30 and click on apply and next we have the hot keys the hot key is where you can program each key for instance you're recording live streaming you can set a key so that you just click that key to record or stop the recording or start live stream anyone but i'm not going to be doing that i'm going to move to the advanced mode so under the advanced mode i'm going to change the color range to full next i'm going to move to the recording and click on auto removes to mp4 so under the scenes i'm just going to rename this to camp one i'm going to move to sources under sources i'm going to move to the video capture device i'll click on the video capture device and name it camp so next i'm going to just select my camera i'm going to select my camera over here so this is my camera i'm using to record i'm just going to select it so next what i'm going to do is to rescale it and make it fit to the screen i'm just going to right click and move to transform under transform click on fit to screen so next let's add our logo so i'm just going to click on the plus icon under the plus icon let me add some logo okay so i've added my logo so what i'm going to do next is to still right click on it move to transform and click on fit to screen so from there i'm going to just rescale it and position it anywhere i like so let's position it here so i'm going to be adding some animated logo so what i'm going to do before i click on ok i'm just going to click on the loop turn off this you click on the use hardware decoding when available and click on restart playback when scene become active so i'm just going to click on next on ok so after that i will stay click right click and fit to screen so let's play the animated logo so now let's add some lower third to our video so what i'm going to do i'm just going to right click on the camp one under the camp one I'm just going to click on duplicate it. Click on duplicate and name it as lower third. So what I'm going to do under the lower third scene, I'm going to move to the sources, click on add. Let's add some lower third to the video. So I already have one lower third here. I'm just going to change some settings here. So now I'm going to stay right click on the lower third on the lower third. And move move it to fit the screen so now let's play the lower third on the screen if you notice you will see that the screen is blank i'm going to show you how to solve it click on the lower third under the lower third move to filters so under the effect filters click on plus icon then you will see luma key click on luma key and click on ok immediately you click on ok you notice that it has removed the black background so if you still notice some black background at the edges you can 
use the smooth button to smoothen it but to me this one is okay like this so now let's rescale it and adjust it a little bit now it's okay like this so next let's work on the transition in obs studio so we're just going to go to the same transition under the same transition click on plus you can add wipe slide stinger fade to color and luma wipe let's click on slide click on ok you can decide it. if you want it to slide to left or slide to right or up and down you can select that so i'll just leave it on slide to left and click on ok so now if you want to add the transition to this quick transition option you just click on the plus icon and you see the slide click on the slide and it will automatically show you so now let's try it so now if you want to adjust the speed of the slide you will just click on the drop down icon here then you will see the speed adjuster here let's adjust it to 400 click on ok and immediately you do that if you notice it has reduced the speed so now i'm just going to be deleting some of them because the major ones i use is fade and cut so next we're going to be adjusting the audio settings and other settings in the audio panel under the audio mixer click on the three dot icon and click on advanced audio property so now under the advanced audio property i'm going to click it on monitor only so now my audio is already here i'm just going to be reducing the volume anytime you notice that the red is too much what you need to do is to adjust the volume so i'm just going to adjust the volume here test it test it test it test it so now if you notice it's within the green and the yellow icon so anytime you notice that the audio is reaching red that audio is bad to be noisy and too loud next we're going to move into the live streaming section so if you want to live stream just go to the settings under the settings click on the stream and click on use stream key so now i'm just going to head over to my youtube channel and under my youtube channel i'm going to click on copy stream key just going to click on it then paste it in the stream key option here immediately you paste it click on apply and click on ok now if you want to go live you just click on start live so immediately you click on the start live if you look at under here you'll be able to see the bitrate of your network so if you notice that the thing is showing red and yellow know that your internet is not too strong and i'll advise you to reduce your bitrate so that you can be able to live stream to avoid lags and errors. so if you notice it's showing red or yellow you just adjust it back to 1000 if your network speed is high and fast you can increase the bitrate to up to 5000 or any one you want so i'm just going to leave it on adjust it back to 1000 to give us the smooth stream so next i'm just going to click on the record and let's move back to the youtube if you see under the youtube now we are already live so that is how to go live with obs in the recording session you can be able to pause your recording and still continue the recording thank you for watching this video my name is Ebenezer from osa studio i'll see you in my next video